what's up? Thank you so much for clicking on my very first video on my new YouTube channel, p &J. It's gonna be super quick, super easy tutorial on how I put in my hair extensions. Like, a lot of hair extensions. Cause we all wanna be fabulous, right? So go ahead and keep watching, and I will see you guys at the end of the video. Boom! <laughs> Hope I didn't scare anybody. Sorry if I did. Anywho, uh, we're gonna start off with showing you guys what I used to do and what I see a lot of girls doing. It's just parting your hair up with a clip. And then you just put on the extensions, which is super easy. But as you will see, yeah, you see all that little short hair. And if you got shorter hair, it's gonna be even more visible. So totally not fabulous. What I'm gonna show you guys is just part the hair the same way you can put hairspray in it or not, depending on you, but you're going to twist it. You're going to twist it to one side first, and then you're going to fold it over, put some more hairspray. And you're going to keep twisting it, and you tuck it in. And then you put a bobby pin and just hold that in place. You can use one or two, up to you. I like to use two just to be more secure, because usually I wear my extensions all day long. Do that, and then you can put the extensions in. That way your short hair is not visible at all. And it goes on really smooth. I'm going to show you guys one more time. I'm going to part your hair right behind your ears like that. Part it up with a clip. Take your real hair. As you guys can see, I'm having some issues. <laughs> Probably should have done that better. Sorry guys. So put some more hairspray on it. And just like before, you're going to twist it to one side. I'm gonna do this really fast, yeah. So you're just folding it over and over and over. If your hair is short, you just fold over one time. But my hair is a little bit longer because I have a lob, so so I tucked it in so many times. So now you put in the hair extension clips, and you'll see it goes on really smooth. It's not like bulky or bulging out like you would think it does. So now. I part from the sides and I mess up there. <laughs> Tie that out of your face. Make me some Chinese. Alright, from here I'm just clipping in like normal because my hair length is going to be able to blend in with the extensions. But if your hair is short and you need to keep doing that technique all the way up to your crown, that's also fine. Like it does not bulge or poke out or anything. It's really nice and smooth. But since my hair is a little bit longer at the top, I like to just leave it alone. Alrighty, and now to the sides. And I'm just gonna part that at my temples. And I'm gonna put a two weft in here, just so that the side of my bangs will look natural too because I'm splitting my hair on the side. And if you're, if you have like side bangs or your side swept, you can also put that higher or lower, depending on whatever you like. So you guys can see here, it's nice with the back, and you don't see the hair in the front. So no one can tell that you're wearing extensions, you know? So, yes. Oh, and I also use a L'Oreal Ever Sleek protectant oil or precious oil, and I focus that on the tips. I just replace that as a heat protector because I don't like heat protectors, they smell weird and if you're wondering what face mask I'm wearing I'm with the Sephora one and this is the end results ta-da super fabulous alrighty guys that's it thank you so much for watching I hope you guys learned something new today please like share comment stalk me follow me whatever I'm on Instagram Facebook if you guys want to see how I did this makeup look, please thumbs up the video and I'll try to get to it. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe me, okay? I will see you guys next time. Toodles! Mm -hmm.